Hi everyone, Richard from Renner Boxes here. So we thought that we would uh, address the elephant in the room and that is the 4090 series, power requirements, what do you need, what don't you need, what's all this power supply chat around ATX 3.0 and 2.0 and so on and so forth. So let's, um, let's kind of start with what we've gleaned over sort of the last week with information that's slowly being drip fed. Um, unfortunately, we don't have an inside connection to anybody at NVIDIA that can um, fill in all the blanks, but I think we're making sort of good progress at the moment. So what we'll discuss today, power cables, namely the 12 volt high powered 12 pin connector. Um, this was introduced with the 3090 Ti, but it's kind of really gonna come into its own now on um, the 4090 because it's just such a monster of a card and seems to have an almost infinite power draw. So we'll start with an official cable. So this is a thermal take cable. It's from the new uh, PCIe Gen 5 ATX 3.0 standard power supply. Seems like a brilliant power supply. Um, but we can't fully test it until we've got some 4090s to plug into it. But it does come with official cables. Now, I'll put this here. You can see it says 600 watt on it. Now, what it also has is these four cables at the top here. You can kind of see them sticking out here. Now that's four separate cables to the 12 um, power cables, if you like, on this micro fit connector. And they're called the sideband cables. And that's kind of part of the Gen 5 spec. What the sideband cables do is they communicate between the power supply and the GPU. Um, I'm sure other components are gonna come out that support this cable structure, but you know, it's pretty much, I'd say from what, what I can see, uh, re reserved for GPUs for the moment, that have that kind of power draw, six, up to 600 watts. Now, they communicate back to the power supply and they basically can kind of perform a bit of a handshake where they will let you know, or let the GPU know, and the power supply know what the power draw is going to be. So, you know, if the power supply is a thousand watts, the GPU is aware of what the limits are. That will then allow the power supply to scale down or almost power limit, if you like, what the 4090 is going to pull. Now, that does a couple of things. Firstly, it means it won't blow up your power supply because it's not taking more power than what the power supply can deliver. And secondly, it will help with power load spikes. So um, for argument's sake, when you turn on your system, you can get a quick power spike, and you'll see it if you, I don't know, use something like MSI Afterburner, um, like you can kind of monitor when you'll get spikes, or just a plug into your wall. Um, like, you know, we use these plugs going into the wall, and you'll see quick bursts of power when you turn on a system, especially when it's got four GPUs in it. And that, that is the system turning on and the, and the GPU just quickly getting a blast of power. Now, the, 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 the word on the streets is that that power spike on a 4090 could be around the 350 watt per GPU. So if you're turning on your system and you've got four 4090s, we're maybe seeing anything up to 1.4 kilowatts in power spike. Now, if you haven't got something that is able to protect you, i.e. the sideband, and you're plugging those cards via something like one of these dongles, we'll talk about that in a minute, your power supply will not know how much power draw the GPUs want and could just give it the whole lot. So then are we talking about maybe a spike of 500 watts? We're really not sure yet. So, you know, this isn't fear mongering. This is just kind of trying to start a bit of a discussion on what we're finding out 
as more information comes to light. So um, I think my, my main concern is not so much in our systems, we completely over egg all of the power. Uh, for argument's sake, the Nano has two 1600 watt power supplies running in tandem. So that's up to 3.2 kilowatts. So even if you had four cards spiking at 1.4 kilowatts, you're still, well, you're a third of the power supply, total power supply capacity. So this is more for people that maybe have just had a 3090 running or a 3080 or still running a 2080 Ti and they've got, I don't know, an 800 watt power supply and they just go and buy a 4090, plug in one of these dongle kind of converter cables and that machine's rendering overnight and this cable is pulling far more than what it's capable of pulling. So this cable was from a really well-known site, probably the uh, biggest shopping site on the planet. We won't use any names. And um, it goes from the 12 pin, it's got the side band. But the side band, as you can see from the side, is looped back on itself. For a start, it's only using two pins. There's meant to be four, and it's looping back on itself. The side band's got nowhere to go because it's going to three eight pin to ATX 2.0 standard uh, connectors. So A, it's not sensing. So again, we go back to this power draw, spikes, it's taking everything it wants. And then we're also going back to these. Now the, the gauge of cable is shocking, I'll be honest. I have got the per vernier gauges on it, but it looks, I don't know, maybe like 18 or even 20 gauge. And you see all these loop backs here? So, I mean, just the whole thing just looks really worrying. Now you get similar cables like this, apparently in the box with 4090s. So that just scares me personally. Um, and as I said, if that power supply is not capable, it has no way of knowing that it's not capable because there's no communication between the GPU and um, the PSU. So it's early days. I mean, we've got in stock ATX 3.0 power supplies, um, really high load capacity ones. So as soon as we've got the cards in, which hopefully is gonna be on October the 12th, we'll be able to run a system. We'll also be able to backwards compatible run the system on a current nano system, which, you know, to anybody that knows, we, we pretty much only use the Corsair AX1600i, which is arguably the best power supply on the planet or, or ATX power supply on the planet. So I'm not overly worried about power spikes on that, but I do think there needs to be some broader discussions about people just thinking that they can just go and get a 4090, putting it into their workstation or computer, uh, or even a few of them, and uh, it just running quite happily when you've got up to 600 watts on a cable that quite frankly doesn't really look up to it. So that's really the end of this one today. As I said, this is, this is, this is just looking at stuff as it becomes available. So there's, this is not preaching that it absolutely is gonna go the way that we're saying here, but it all seems quite logical on what we found out so far. So um, yeah, we'll be doing some more videos shortly as and when we've got more hardware. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.